Hi, I'm Joe Alden, MD of doomandbloom.net, survival top 50s reader's choice website, two years running with over a thousand articles, podcasts, and videos on medical preparedness. Together with my wife, Amy Alden, an advanced registered nurse practitioner, we're the authors of the Book Excellence Award winner in medicine, The Survival Medicine Handbook, now in its 700 page third edition, and the designers of an entire line of medical kits and more at store.doomandbloom.net. The great outdoors is a wonderful place, but not without its risks. Not just the risk of falling off a cliff or drowning in the ocean, but the risk of infectious disease. One that has both long and short-term consequences is Lyme disease spread through the bite of ticks infected with a bacterium called Borreliae burgdorferi. Lyme disease can be found on both coasts anywhere that a black-legged or western black-legged tick species exists. Most humans are infected through the bites of juvenile ticks called nymphs, so tiny that they're very difficult to see. The adults can spread the disease as well, but are spotted and eliminated earlier and more often. Lyme disease transmission is a process that takes about 24 to 48 hours, so the faster you find the tick, the less likely you'll get the disease. By the way, find out more about tick bite prevention and treatment in the video just before this one on our channel. Lyme disease has a variety of signs and symptoms, some of which are seen early, say the first two or three weeks, and others that occur over months, maybe years. The infection is diagnosed based on recognizing these symptoms. Not always easy, and even trained medical professionals often miss the diagnosis. Typical early symptoms include fever, headache, fatigue, and often a skin rash called erythema migrans, which looks like a bullseye that spreads out over time. If left untreated, you can progress to chronic Lyme disease where the infection can spread to joints, the heart, the nervous system. You may see issues with things like swollen knees, other joints, loss of muscle tone in the face, a paralysis or palsy, uh, palpitations, irregular heartbeat, shortness of breath, nerve pain, numbness, memory loss, every case is different. It's easier to prevent Lyme disease than it is to treat it, as we mentioned in our previous video. So use insect repellent such as DEET, D-E-E-T, or lemon eucalyptus oil. Apply pesticides like permethrin to clothing. Watch what you're brushing against on the trail and look for and remove ticks ASAP. As far as treating Lyme disease, antibiotics can kill the microbe that causes it. The antibiotics commonly used include those that are available in aquatic and avian form, doxycycline, also known as bird biotic, 100 milligrams twice a day orally, and amoxicillin, fish mox, 500 milligrams three times a day orally. Now, other antibiotic options include z or azithromycin and erythromycin or fish mycin. Remember, for a full recovery, early treatment is the key. This is Joe Alden, MD, that old Dr. Bones, wishing you the best of health and good times or bad. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you need a solid medical kit for that wilderness hike, hunting trip, or even long-term survival, check out Nurse Amy's entire line at store.doomandbloom.net. That's store.doomandbloom.net. You'll be glad you did.